Because then when you stop, what happens? Oh, it all gets told. Oh, you only doing that because of him. Because right. I was always, always mm -hmm. go ahead, I'm going to let you finish that. <laughs> and you know, and we, you and I have shared this before, it's, it's, it's so funny when you do begin to change those behaviors, the first thing they'll say is, oh, you're going to choose that man over me. Give me a good come over here with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mine was like, you you used to let you used to let us do stuff, and I was like, well, I got saved for real. Right. I'm so, I mean, my one child used to reference to some the older children. They were like, well, you let them do it. I said, well, at that time I wasn't living right. I said, but I said, unfortunately. Then I said, but I said, no, not unfortunately. I said, fortunately, I didn't got saved for real. So there's a different ball game yeah. there. And um, a lot of it was just because because of Troy. No, I was actually doing this before Terry came along, but because they used to, I would say, have me to their cell, and I think there was things that I did for my kids because me and their dad was no longer along, so no longer together. What did I say, along? <laughs> together. <laughs> that I kind of did things to kind of make up for it. I always made sure they stayed in the best clothes and mm -hmm. all those kinds of things. And then, as life progressed, Things like that starts to change because I think my youngest thought that they were still supposed to be in the best gear at 20 and 21. I'm supposed to be still laying out all this stuff for Christmas. Right. And it, 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 it doesn't do that anymore. And um, things change. But the one, he's, this one time, he said some things that cut me like a knife, like, yeah. We was riding in the car, and I had made um, a statement to him that I was no longer going to do a certain thing. you sent, he got your nose wide open, and you know that cut me. Mm -hmm. But see, that was the enemy using him to get me to come out to his territory and go and cuss him out and all that, because at one time, I used to think that my kids didn't understand anything but cuss. Mm -hmm. Because if I talk to them normal, y'all ain't getting it, but when I started, blah, 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 and you know, cussing, it seemed like they would get it. But that was my old way, and actually oh, that wasn't baby. getting nowhere, but he was trying to bring me back out there. Yes. And when he said that, I just, uh, I wanted to just take his whole head through the window. But see, when you try to do things different, they blame, they try to use other things to blame for why you're taking that action. And especially the baby. Oh, yeah. Master mm -hmm. manipulator. Mm -hmm. but manipulation. <laughs> but what happens, we, we, we I keep saying this, we tend to forget just because we have crossed over oh, the yeah. bridge and made the transformation, made the, 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 the change that we're going to be Christ-like, be a Christian. Everybody in the family has not crossed the bridge. They have not crossed the bridge, and it's not our job to burn down the bridge. And just because I got it right today and been living holy for a whole 30 days, I want you to come on board with this a whole 30 days.
don't care for them, don't want to nurture them. But I learned that I can say more to God about my seed mm -hmm. than me having a face-to-face -face conversation. And God can get him to do some things I can't get him to do. Too much this 
That's right. I'll do anything. I say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, when I think about um, what got me through, because I had, I almost want to say, now I'm not saying the stuff that he did that I didn't know about, mm -hmm. but I almost had what I would consider to be the perfect kid until he turned about 15. I don't know what happened. And at that point, I was like, wow. And, you know, my, grand, my grandmother would say, well, you know you trained him right. Mm -hmm. And since you trained him right, no matter what happens, he's going to come back. And she would... Um, reference Proverbs 22 and 6, train children in the right way, and when they're old, they will not stray. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, wow. And I remember praying over that scripture saying, Lord, I trained them, so make sure that he comes back to the right way. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, is he never really left the way. Mm -hmm. He was just exploring, mm -hmm. as we've all done, crossing over that bridge, as we've all done, right? Mm -hmm. So... Another thing that resonated, and I don't know the exact scripture, because I'm not a, a scripture memorizer to that point, but I remember his word is like fire and a hammer, and it breaks the rocks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, so these rocks that are trying to set themselves up around our children, mm -hmm. if we obey God's word, he said it's like fire and a hammer, and he's going to break those rocks. So why are we trying to break them? Because we think we him. Mm -hmm. we, we won't say it. But sometimes we think we are God mm -hmm. because we're trying to save them. Yeah. We're trying to save them. So we just need to find that balance with, and I like what you said, the, your mother, mm -hmm. and then you transition to, you're still mama, but more of a coaching. Yes. A coaching. And I think there's another piece that we go, even from a coach, there, there come a time that we're going to be a consultant mm -hmm. to them. That's good. That's yeah. good. You ask the right questions to that's lead a, them to a That's solution. exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Because mm -hmm. a coach who sets the environment for they can practice, yeah. you give them the tools that they need to, for they can perform the game. But as a consultant, mm -hmm. you just throw out open-ended questions. Let me give you something to think about. Mm -hmm. How would you process that? Mm -hmm. And you don't give them answers. You let them navigate it through their own way. Hmm. Mm -hmm. CLS initials, that is Dr. Troy L. Shaw is watching streaming live, and um, I have got mail. And he wanted to make a comment, and he believes that the main thing to raising children or any part of life, or any part of their life, is being in God's Word. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, because it's all about the Word. Mm -hmm. It is. It's all about the Word. What does it say the Word does? It cuts like a two-edged sword. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you say this like that. That is good, but yeah, but hey, Troy. You said being in God's Word. So always apply the Word. Ooh, I'm glad you said that. Always apply the Word. I remember Rick, he had um, lived with his father for a little bit, and he came back to live with us for a while. And they was trying to do the uh, Halloween, what's it called, when you go to these haunted Gucci things for jiggies. Mm -hmm. And real quick, he wanted to go there. Well, I was in a place, uh, we don't do that in my house. I'm not paying for you to go. It's one thing if you sneak and go, but I'm not supporting it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Man, I'll never get to do nothing. I don't get to do nothing. Well, Troy talked to him and he showed it to him in the Word. And Rick was like, you used the Bible for everything. <laughs> you used the Bible for everything. But he was able to accept it because we went to the Word and we showed him, showed him in the Word. He was able to accept it. And I'm not saying that he was happy about it, but it pacified him. He was able. Now, he probably snuck it. Everything that you need is in the Word. So wrapping things up, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Thank you, the audience and our viewers, and all the questions that we had from last week are coming in. And actually, the men have something to say about another love TKO. So here, um, further down the line, we're going to do another TKO on the flip side, and we're going to have the panel full of men to see what they got to say. Y'all for that? <laughs> our sponsors, um, and you know who you are. I don't think I have that much time to actually call names, but one of the sponsors is Overflow Ministries. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> 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 Liberty, oh, Liberty.
Liberty Hill Baptist Church. Number uh, again and again and again. Um, again, uh, hit us up on Facebook. That's uh, Conversations with Kelly. If you have any questions or you actually want to be a potential guest for future topics. Or you can hit us on Twitter, that is Combos with Kelly. Thank you again for sharing with us tonight.